Hi, and welcome back to Scandinavian Secrets. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the feeding behaviors of Malawi cichlids in Lake Malawi. So even though Malawi cichlids aren't known for their behaviors, there's actually some quite interesting feeding behaviors of the cichlids in Lake Malawi. We have the more known algae eating embunas that graze on rocks and feed on algae. But even though the embunas typically just graze on algae, we have some differences within the embunas. For example, we have the Labeotrophaeus that have a specialized mouth that can make them eat algae in a specific way and come closer to the rock, even though they are very close to the surface and in, uh, where there's a lot of currents and big waves. Then we have the Petrotilopia that has developed a very large mouth so it can feed on big chunks of algae and you can actually see on the rocks where a Petrotilopia has been and eaten. Then when it comes to other species we have for example the hunting behaviors of the predator cichlids in Lake Malawi. For example in the species Nimbochromis we have Lini that we have been talking about in another video. They utilize their elongated trout to stay on top of rocks and wait for smaller fry to come out and look for food. And then the lini will instantly take the fry. Then we have the Nimbochromis livingstoni, who has the pattern of a dead and uh, rotten fish. So what they will do is that they will swim in Lake Malawi or in your aquarium and all of a sudden just fall to the side on the sand and play dead. So when small fry come to start to eat from the fish, which they think are dead, the living stony actually just go straight up, catch the fry and swim away peacefully and with the stomach full of food. And then we have another predator cichlid that's very popular in the aquarium hobby, Skyenochromis frieri. And as you know, the males are very colorful and they actually utilize their color while hunting smaller fry. So what they do is that they will stay together with the embunas on a rock and actually imitate the other fish or the embunas that graze on algae. So it will look like the Scanochromis freire male mostly is, is also eating uh, on the algae and it will look like any other embuna due to the color as embunas normally have and then it will come closer and closer to fry and all of a sudden it will just go straight through the water, take the fry and swim away. So that's very interesting in my opinion. Then we have the species that search for food in the sand. For example we have the species of tiny oletrinops and they actually dig with their whole head straight down in the sand. And that's very cool and very interesting and I was so happy when I saw it in action in Lake Malawi. But you can actually quite easily make the fish do this in your aquarium as well. So to get your Taneoletronops to do this in your aquarium is actually quite easy. Just hide some smelly food in the substrate and I'm sure that your Taneoletronops will pick up the smell and be just around your hand while you're placing it in the substrate. And once your hand is up from the aquarium, they will start to dig immediately. And it's so interesting and fun to watch. I could do it for hours. Then we have some species of Alunukara. They use sensors underneath their shin to localize smaller prey in the sand. So what they will do is that they will swim super slowly on top of the sand and see if there's anything hiding just beneath them. And when they find something, they just go down with the mouth, dig it up, eat it and swim away. So that's also very cool to see and it's mostly the Alunukaras that lives in the sediment rich habitat that prefers to do this, like Alunukara huseri. Let's take a look at an Alunukara huseri doing this in action in Lake Malawi. So that's it for the video about feeding behaviors of the cichlids in Lake Malawi. 
please let me know which one was your favorite or if there's another behavior in Lake Malawi that you really enjoyed. Take care guys, enjoy your fish, don't forget to like, subscribe and write a comment on this video and we will see you in our next episode. <laughs>